a clip. So what'll it be? A self lob, poster dunk, or the half court floor launch? Choose your finalist for top play of the year. We'll be back next week with another set of three to meet the winner of this vote. Stay tuned. We've been talking about the 2K League this week, and even if you aren't competing professionally, we see you out there. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Here on 2K Sports, this is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Center Rob Williams is a big reason the Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. We've got Davis. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's Russell. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard. On for the Celtics. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the center position. One of my favorite eras in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year we were in the Eastern Conference. Those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by him. Now here's Williams. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Anthony Davis. That one on Davis. And you know, sometimes in these interconference rivalries, Greg, it gets physical and contention. And I'm sure the refs have talked to both coaches about just that, Kevin, They're keeping it clean. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few quick whistles to drive that point home. Deflects the pass. Out of bounds, Out of Boston bounds. takes possession. Smart against Russell. Now here's Smart. Defense is right there. No good. Nice D from Russell. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. Pass to Russell. Kicks to LeBron. Trying to get open is Davis. And that one's good by LeBron. Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. We play just over a minute here in the first. Here's Tatum. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, and Kevin, they got punished in that third quarter. They just came out without any fight uh, after halftime, and you can't do that. Here's Tatum following the basket by Anthony Davis. Free throw line jump shot, and Davis sends it back. Not only does Davis have great skill, but he is tremendously agile. He can get shots from just about anywhere on the court. Russell passes to LeBron. Inside, Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Reeves can't hit. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Shoots from the baseline. They get it back. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Davis. And Horford pulls it down. For Boston, they've gone 0 5 here to start the game. Let's start for them. Man, is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James. Clark, this is a guy that just doesn't seem to age. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really.
certainly one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind, quite honestly, Kevin, on and off the floor. We know he spends a lot of time and money to keep his body in peak shape. He yet is still not showing any real signs of slowing down. We know Father Time is undefeated. But I tell you what, LeBron is giving it a run for its money. Tatum making a lot of noise with these points now. He's an impact player, make no doubt about it. Capable of turning the game all alone. Now, here is Russell. Real disappointing game for him in that loss to Denver. Kicks it out to LeBron. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Lakers passing it around. Six to shoot. Fires for three. Goes up again. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. And that one's yeah. good. Russell. Russell. And once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. The not there. And now, the first time out call here for Boston. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Live by the three or die by the three. If you're a perimeter defendant, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. You know, I think the lack of success from the perimeter really did them in. They just couldn't get it going from there. Derek White checked in for the Celtics. The Lakers also making some changes. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Now here's White. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Miami. And one of the big ways he came through was at the foul line. They couldn't contain him. He was equally effective at scoring baskets as well as getting to the line. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And that one's good. Hachimura. You know, with AD's and court awareness, when guys on his team get open, he'll find them. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now here's White. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Here's Tatum. Rebounded by the Lakers. James outside. That's in there. Davis with the assist. LeBron's got his second bucket of the night. And nice touch from the inside. I, I'm a fan of when LeBron just burrows his way inside and takes it back. Now here's Tatum. 14 points from him the last game against Miami. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. That's exactly what a team needs when they're playing from behind. Energetic defense. And the Lakers making a change here. One fifty-one left to play here in the first. Here's James. Nice game out. He had 40 points. Los Angeles with another miss. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's White. Six-point game. Not going to fall. Starting off slow. He misses his first three from the floor. Here's Beasley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Good job by Beasley finding a way to get to the strike. And the three-pointer GA has become a focal point of Malik Beasley's game. Now, yeah, up, up until last season, only about half of his tents were from beyond the arc. Now he's really zeroing in on the long ball as his primary weapon. Pritchard, he's checked in for Derek White. Now here's Williams. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Here's Hauser, Lakers. by LeBron, and James picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Williams passes to Brogdon to end the cold streak. 
Good work from Beasley, doing a really outstanding job making an impact on defense. LeBron James. This is his first chance at the line tonight. With his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity strike when he gets his opportunity. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for LeBron. Now here's Beasley. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. It's deflected. 36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Offensive rebound. Muscala. Bamba with the block. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. 30 seconds left in the first. Here's Brogdon. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Austin shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. One of the things most impressive about Malcolm Brogdon is how well-rounded his game is. Scores, passes, defends, rebounds, and he's also a tremendous leader on and off the court. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Now, here is Russell. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Here is Russell. Four-point game. Misses in close. Brogdon scanning the floor, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Good hustle that time on the defensive end from Dennis Schroeder, making the effort to stop the shot. And so the first quarter is in the books. Los Angeles on top, up four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. We played through one quarter of action so far and taking a look at Los Angeles's performance here What have they been doing or not doing? You, you got to credit their defense communicating rotating making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled It's only the first quarter and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game Lakers leading by four so on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter We've got Jared Vanderbilt He's out there with Rui Hachimura. Russell is out there with Davis, and it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Tatum takes some contact, but pushes through to get his shot. That's good aggressiveness there. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's Austin another playmaker Reeves. on the floor. Three. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Tatum kicks to Horford. <laughs> Vanderbilt with the rebound. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone a rock. And all around the rim that Reed. time before dropping in. Now it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. Tatum on the wing. Smart passes to Horford. Jacks up a three. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He kicks to Russell. Now the pass to Hachimura. 
Hard against Davis. Pass to Vanderbilt. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock to the inside. And he finishes nicely on the way. Vanderbilt's got the lead up to nine now for Los Angeles. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. And they get it back. Nice shot by Smart. How about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? Lakers leading by seven. Bounce pass, Russell. And stolen by Horford. Tatum on the wing. He's covered by Hachimura. Tatum's shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Reeves the pass to Hachimura. Russell with it. And here is Davis. He's guarded by Williams. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. And some changes here for the Celtics. Robert Williams is checked in for Grant Williams, and it's wide in for Tatum. And the Lakers also making a change. James is checked in. Now, here's Brown. He's coming off a 19-point game against Miami. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass. Personal All ball. around, it just his first effort ball. level was off the charts. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a fool. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injuries. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Now here's James. And get a load of his scoring totals. Huge numbers for him. An average of just about 29 points a game. Here's Reeves. Seven-point differential. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Robert Williams. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, Ron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David, and we thank you for your report. And the first one at the line is good. D'Angelo Russell, the second overall pick in 2015. Yeah, pretty interesting too, Kevin, that the Lakers traded him after just his second season. It was basically a salary dump. It wasn't about talent because he's got plenty of that, but he was young when he came into the league. He had a reset at age 21 and then went on to rebuild his stock in Brooklyn, making an all-star game there. And by doing that, it showed everybody that he could start over. So beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in, and Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Smart. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's White. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And there it is for him. Outstanding concentration that time by White on the take. Play through the contact and score. That's to James. The shot, no good. Now Boston takes it the other way. For three, Brogdon. And James pulls it down. 
LeBron's got rebound number five here tonight. And it's Schroeder in the corner. Oh, no good on the triple. Celtics trail by eight. Here's Hauser. Two minutes. We've got 155 left to play here in the half. Lock at six. White. A three-pointer, no good. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Here's James, and James throws it down. For all his strength and power, James can also be extremely graceful Celtic. throwing off the defender with a really nice move there. Now a timeout called by Boston. When you think of court offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Kevin, unless you have an incredible isolation for us, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. And the Celtics making a change here. Richards checked in. They get the rebound and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Brogdon attacking the heart of the defense there. Excellent decision and really maximizes using his size. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Lakers. Their defense has been so aggressive right out of the gate, wasting no time shutting shooters down here with authority. Another big component of their game early on has been their execution on the fast break. They're getting a bunch of easy baskets, pushing it in transition. Now, here's James. He's got six. Rebounded by Hauser. White looking around. Out to the right wing. Hauser the pass to White. Kicks it to Muscala. A three rebound by the Lakers. Last meeting was in Boston, where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other, and you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. When you are in foul trouble, it makes you less aggressive defensively. When that's the case, it's hard to offer the kind of resistance that you need to. That was in the back of the mind, the foul trouble they were in. Here's Hauser after the basket by the Lakers. Over James and the rejection by James. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. From 18 feet away, the shot comes out. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Man, please give a big round of applause for your something. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. At one point, they were ahead by eight points. They really poured it on in the second quarter, building the lead to 10 points. Shaq, what'd you think about the Lakers? Ball movement was a real factor. They played a selfish with patience. The guys got shots in their favorite spots. You get those high percentage looks, good things to happen. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Boston? They have to start penetrating in the lane. A few high percentage shots could make a difference in the paint. Right now, the focus has been on jumpers, and it's been too predictable. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back. Kevin Harlan. Go. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And you know, that's not a job they asked him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. 
and it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Williams is out there with Horford, and it's Smart in at the point. That's the Boston Five. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot, but... I'd go with the Lakers and more superstars over the years. I think that 2000s run with Kobe and Kobe put them ahead in my estimation. Oftentimes, Clark with Jared Vanderbilt, his impact isn't reflected in the box score. Yeah, you know, that's a good point, Kevin. He puts up solid rebounding numbers, but I think it's his defense, which is his greatest attribute. He's a lockdown defender, and he's a high-energy hustle guy who plays with a lot of edge and tenacity, and that has value on just about any team. And it's Brown missing. Lakers leading by 14. Ron right side. Here's Davis. A shot missing. And it's Boston the other way. Over in the corner, Brown. Rebound the Lakers. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Here's Reeves. Stolen by Smart. Brown wide open. He fired. Drains it from beyond the arc. Brown's got five. Hey, guys, that's just outstanding confidence for Brown. I mean, getting up with the shot right away and giving the defense no time to react, that's impressive. Now here's James. He has six. Reeves the pass to Vanderbilt and taken away by Brown. Tatum against LeBron. Outside, Horford. The officials will call the illegal sleep illegal right there. And guys, one of the emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call them. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hachimura is checked in. Lakers leading by 11. Here's Reeves. Outside, Russell. Passes to Hachimura. Just five to shoot. And that one drops for him. Davis. Davis has got four points this quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here is Horford. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And there's the pass to Reeves. Misses the three. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Smart kicks to Brown. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Horford. Boy, Brown, not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on Robert Williams. David? Hey, guys, the Celtics head athletic trainer gave me an update. He's got an injury to his elbow, specifically his elbow joint, and it looks like it's a pinched nerve. Okay, Dave, thanks. Sounds like uh, he won't be out for too long. And now the latest Anthony from our reporter, David. David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has Defensive Player of the Year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. Williams, he's checked in for Grant Williams. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for the Lakers. Dennis Schroeder comes in for D'Angelo Russell. Horford, the pass to Smart.
back to Orford. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his third assist on the night. Well, it's clear that there's a comfort level down there for Horford. He's got a lot of shots he can go to and moves to go with it. Here's Reeves. He's got six. Beasley outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Robert Williams. And one thing about Beasley, he can get you buckets. In a hurry. Well, you know, last year, Greg, he broke Minnesota's record for most threes in a game. When he's hot, he can light it up. Free throw drops in for Beasley. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive ability. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Mike Muscala is checked in for Horford. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's wide in for Marcus Smart. Ahmed Baba, he's checked in for the Lakers. And Williams is right there. They are trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Easily outside. Pass to Hachimura. Left side, Davis. Nobody near Schroeder. And they'll get another chance. That one off the back iron and out. Celtics trail by 10. Two minutes. It's Brogdon on the wing. For by Beasley. Here's White. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. You're right. Defense, it's been terrific for him. This Boston team, G.A., certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And, Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. And here's Schroeder. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. That's to Beasley. It up for Davis. Very pretty alley layup. Davis gets going like this. There's no way you can stop him, giving you his entire package right now. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And catching the defense flat footed and taking full advantage. Big bucket there to extend the lead. Tatum gets the bucket. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Back to Schroeder. No good. Shot missing. White with the defensive effort. Tatum against Schroeder. That shot misses. And it's the Lakers the other way. And here's the fast break. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Schroeder. Schroeder's got his first two points. And, you know, give Schroeder credit. Taking the contact like a man and staying in control. Tatum's shot is off. Schroeder finds Hachimura. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Four personal fouls. In Los Angeles, they have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. And that one falls for Hachimura. At the line for two. And good on a second, so he makes them both. Just four seconds left to play here in the third. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's touched by Beasley. Take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect it. Three-point range. No good on the last second attempt there. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple 
of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So for the Lakers right now, they've got LeBron James, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Bamba. Then it's Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two-guard spot. They retain possession. Pritchard passes to Hauser. Shot clock at five. Wide open shot is on the money. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. 11-point game. Passes it to Russell. Takes it inside. 13 feet away. Here's Vanderbilt. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Lakers. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that, to me, has been impressive. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Grant Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Offensive rebound. Smart. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They're making a concerted effort in the second half to go inside. Trying to close that gap on the scoreboard. The Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. And Greg up and down this Celtics roster. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Russell, no good. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. LeBron against Tatum. Let's it go from deep. That shot off the mark. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Here's James. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Tatum. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Well, really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Robert Williams is checked in for the Celtics. The Lakers also with the sub. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Bamba. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal. Now, here's Tatum. Broke loose. Here's Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. Russell. How about that dunk? I mean, you don't see that every game, but Russell looks the flush when the chance is there. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. Now, here's Brown. He feeds it to Williams. And that time, also a missed shot. Lakers leading by 16. Russell inside, guarded by Smart. And that one's good by Davis. Davis using that athleticism to battle it out on the glass. From in that tight, hard to stop AD. Here's Brown. Shoots it. Williams trying to break free. Austin again missing. Lakers have gone 4-7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. The pass to Russell. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Horford. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Well, 
all for just tuning in. Welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. At the line. That free throw missing. Robert Williams at the line for two shots. And he sinks the second. Lakers leading by 17. Pass to Reeves. Here's Vanderbilt. James outside. Five on the clock. Over Tatum. LeBron outside. They grabbed their own miss. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Now a timeout called by Boston. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots. And, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. And with their spot in the postseason assured, he's picking up just at the right time to be on top of his game. Now, here's Brown. Looking to get back on track here. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, I like the fact that the energy that Brown plays with makes him a guy that does a good job getting to the line. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the game. Now, a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials, like KD or AD or KG. Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. Now here's James. Second shot opportunity. And Vanderbilt finishes it off. Vanderbilt's got five points in the quarter. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Lakers leading by 19 points. James outside. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Doesn't take a lot for AD to get to the rim. With his length, he can throw it down easily. Boston shooting a rough 22% so far in this one. Tatum against James. Tatum's shot is off. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. It's James atop the key. Pass to Reeves. To the middle. Here's Russell. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for Los Angeles. And this was one that never really was a doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And this will now push it to a total of 44 games in the win column on the season. And by getting a victory in the final game of the year between these two, they will have saved themselves some embarrassment, ending with a record of 1-2 and two in their season series against the Celtics. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Anthony Davis. He was really important under the basket, the making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds. And Boston has possession, following the bucket by the Lakers, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler, and he's got some good moves, too. And the first one drops. Harrison's checked in for Los Angeles. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. Here's Brown. 52 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Oh. 
Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside, Walker. The pass to Harrison. Vanderbilt kicks to Walker. Off target from three-point range. Wide up top. Plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 20 to 7 run. Harrison scanning the floor. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. LeBron, in the fourth quarter, were you looking to be aggressive? Yeah, I just try to close the game out. You know, my teammates look for me in the fourth quarter to close the game out with my scoring and just my playmaking ability. So, uh, you know, to be able to go out there and come through for it means a lot. I know they're used to it by now, but I know you're still happy with the win. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.